White asparagus can be a delicious side dish at any party, be it indoor or outdoor. And with the accompanying dipping sauce, it's gonna be a great hit. First, we need to peel the white asparagus. This is due to its skin being very thick and fibrous. There are a few ways you can peel it, either by holding it in your hand or placing it on a cutting board. I prefer using the cutting board because a lot of times when I'm holding it in my hand, it just snaps in half. That's because it's a very delicate vegetable. With white asparagus, in my opinion, it's better to cut the bottom woody part with a knife as opposed to just snapping it off. This is because sometimes you can snap off too much of the good part as well. Once you've peeled all the asparagus, let's prepare them. Here you can either just cut them in half or into bite-sized pieces. If you're using a griddle pan, I would suggest you cut them in half, but I prefer them in bite-sized pieces. Bring a pot of water to a boil and to it add 1 tablespoon of sugar and 2 tablespoons of salt. Swirl the water around so the sugar and salt dissolve and now add in on the asparagus pieces. Cook them for 1.5 minutes. Transfer the cooked asparagus to cold water to stop them from cooking. After, drain them and dry them off with a kitchen towel. Make sure you dry the asparagus as much as possible. Once sufficiently dry, transfer them to a bowl and let's add the seasonings. To the bowl with asparagus, add in half a teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of sweet paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of thyme, and a pinch of either cayenne pepper or chili flakes. Mix the spices well into the asparagus pieces. Heat up a pan on high heat and to it add one tablespoon of olive oil. Add in your asparagus and spread the pieces around the pan so each piece has its own place touching the pan. Now leave them for 5 minutes on high heat. In the meantime, let's prepare our dipping sauce. In a bowl add 3 tablespoons of mayonnaise, 1 teaspoon of miso paste and 25 milliliters of fresh lemon or lime juice. Mix everything well so the miso paste dissolves and the mixture becomes homogenous. Don't forget to taste the sauce and if you think it's either too acidic, add a bit more mayonnaise or if it's too fatty, add in a little bit more lemon juice. After 5 minutes, turn your asparagus pieces so they can brown on the other side as well. Let them fry off for another 4 to 5 minutes. You can move them around the pan a couple of times, so they get a nice char on all sides. Transfer the nicely browned asparagus pieces to a bowl and serve them together with a delicious miso mayo dipping sauce. Have you tried the white asparagus before? What is your favorite way to eat it? Let me know down in the comments. Do leave a like and subscribe for more delicious bites from my kitchen. Until next time, bye bye!